What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. That's right back in full effect in the new compound. I haven't got all the snazzy lights up yet, but it's all a work in progress. But today I'm going to be dropping some great content for y'all that a lot of people need to know, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yes. Today we're going to be talking about the top five foods. And one of them is actually not a food. It's a drink that you should never, never partake in while being locked up in jail or prison. And let me just say this, ladies and gentlemen, I have eaten quite a bit of this stuff the years that I have been in prison and jail. And please forgive me for the jets. They are flying by today. And the echo as well. I got to get some echo pads in this uh, room. It's much bigger room than I had before and if you want to see how I turned this room into a YouTube studio Gaming studio as well uh, Go check out my other page 23 and fun. I'm gonna be doing Tonight I'm doing a ghost hunt on that channel in my old house with all the ghost equipment and Surfing with the GoPro is gonna be on there this summer and all kinds of stuff, you know golfing. That's right 23 and fun and that's what we're gonna be having on that channel so go subscribe for all the behind the scenes of everything that old death does on that channel all right so let's go ahead and jump into number five and number one being the absolute don't you ever in your life eat it if you go into jail or prison number one okay but number five pudding that's right pudding you might think that the pudding is absolutely delicious it's you see a pudding come on the tray and you're like oh my god Give me that pudding. Let me buy your extra pudding. Don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. Those puddings, every, and this, I'm going to read an article to y'all, okay? Uh, and this is truth. I've, I've worked in the kitchen once in my life, and I've seen all the dirty secrets. And if it was in jail, you best believe it's in prison. And, you know, I got friends that were kitchen crew. They tell me all the nasty things that they do. But anyways, pudding is one of the many things that they get on a very low price because it is out of date. Some of these puddings will be a year expired, okay? Almost any pudding that you eat, almost any food that you eat in prison is expired. It's gone bad, but still they decide to feed it to us like freaking dogs. So number five, pudding, don't touch it. Number four, meat rock. Okay, this is gonna go along the lines with meat rock, gravy, uh, burritos, anything with the same kind of meat that comes with the meat rock, do not eat. For the simple fact that this stuff comes in a box, okay? It comes in a box and it's a big red square. Big red square. It's meat, okay? And I've seen people, they would chisel it off with like, uh, I don't know if anybody uh, knows anything about pottery or clay. They, they'll chop off a big chunk of clay with this metal rope that's wrapped around their hands with two wooden handles and that's how they get rid of some of the uh meat cut the meat up in jail and prison not maybe not all of them okay i know there's a lot of kitchen workers out there probably seen different tactics but i've seen that and they'll mold the freaking meat right off you know it's absolutely insane but this meat the gravy burritos anything that's made with this meat the meat rock was absolutely atrocious i never ate the meat rock okay meat rock is a big ball of Filthy, nasty meat. Don't have no taste besides shit. It tastes like shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but the meat rock, okay? And anything that comes with it, do not eat for the simple fact that on the box it says, this is not made for human consumption. Did you hear what I just said? They are feeding this stuff in 99% of the prisons and jails, if not all of them, okay? Food that says not for human consumption. How in the hell are they getting away with this? Do not eat the meat rock. Do not Try not to eat any of the meat. But you know, when you won't have any money or any kind of way to buy canteen, I mean, what are you going to do? You have to eat that or else you're going to die. You know? So number four is the meats. They are just absolutely atrocious. Uh, but of course, there's other kind of meats that's not made with the meat rock, which is the hot dogs. And that's going to come in number three. The hot dogs. Even the hot dogs out here in the streets are super unhealthy for you, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone's favorite food, you know, at the ballpark and, and going to watch a sports game, something like that. You're going to crack open a freaking hot dog 
on the tailgate party, whatever the case is, well, just keep in mind, these hot dogs, I don't know if you've ever seen hot dogs made. The ones that they feed you on the streets, okay? Ballpark Franks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, all the hot dogs, I don't know if you've ever seen how these things are made, but it is absolutely disgusting. And when I first seen the video of how they were made, I mean, I stopped eating hot dogs almost, you know, for the rest of my life. I still eat one every now and then. But there's a lot of people out there feeding their kids, little, little kids, chopped up hot dogs and stuff like that. Man, I strongly suggest you deter from that. Now, if the hot dogs out here in the streets are bad, how do you think, do you think they're going to give us the top of the line hot dogs in prison or jail? <laughs> hell no. Them things are going to be expired. They're not even going to be name brand. Who knows where the hell these hot dogs are coming from. Do not eat the freaking hot dogs. Number three, hot dogs. Number two, okay, number two. Pretty much, you know, pretty much all meats in prison, besides the ones you buy from canteen, like tuna fish, uh, the summer sausage, even that stuff is unhealthy, even though you're buying it from canteen. But tuna fish, I would eat that on a regular basis, okay? Uh, pouch chicken if they have it. But all the meats that they serve in jail and prison, I would strongly suggest you do not touch because this stuff is atrocious. Now, number two, and they stop serving this a lot in jails, okay? A lot of, in jails, but they still serve it in prison, especially in Thanksgiving time, Christmas time, and every, every once in a blue moon, they would serve chicken. You know you gotta have that chicken on a bone, okay? Keep in mind, do you really think that, we used to call it, uh, what we used to call it? We used to call it pigeon? Yard bird. We used to call it yard bird because everyone thought they killed pigeons out in the yard and fed it to us as chicken. <laughs> but, but no, no, no. For real, in all actuality, the chicken in prison, even though it is absolutely delicious and I would buy extra plates of it, you can only imagine what kind of horrible chicken it is for them to say, hey, let's give it to convicts. Let's give it to people that's never going to come home. Let's give it to the lowest of lows, the bottom of the barrel. Where do you think that chicken's coming from? Only God knows where, but I can almost guarantee it is not chicken that you want to be freaking eating. So number two kind of goes in line with number three, chicken. Now, before we get into number one top thing of not to eat in prison, without a doubt in your mind, I don't care if you're starving, do not eat it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to talk about something that you drink before we get into number one. Do not ever and I mean absolutely ever, drink the juice that they serve in jail and prison, okay? We did a test on this stuff. We poured a little bit of Kool-Aid out in jail on the bench and let it sit there for two days. By the time the two days after it dried up, this stuff was peeling up the paint off of the freaking metal, okay? It was peeling the paint up. This stuff is so unhealthy. I mean, you can leave a cup, okay, you, you could get a cup of juice. At least this was how it was in all the jails I've been in in prisons as well. You can leave a cup of juice in your cup, and you would see this white stuff sit to the bottom of the cup while all the water and stuff, whatever the case is, is sitting above it. Kind of like when you see paint containers that's been sitting in hot shed for a year straight, and you open up a paint container and all the liquid or whatever that chemicals it is, is floating at the top and all the white paint is all the way at the bottom. That's what it looks like with juice after letting it sit there for a couple days in your cup. That stuff has to be unhealthy. If it's doing that to metal benches, just imagine what it's doing to your insides, you know? And there's a lot of speculation and conspiracy theories about this prison juice, about how they put stuff in it to make us less manly, you know, I don't know, masculine, whatever the case is, to make us not get sexually turned on anymore. There, you know, there's a lot of speculation into this juice. And, you know, I don't doubt it. And not only that, man, you know what I mean? When I worked for Trusty, I probably worked Trusty probably a month, if that, you know? And while I was working there, you know how many people I've seen spit in the freaking juice just because they didn't like one guy in the block? They wanted one guy to drink the juice with the spit in it, but really they let everyone in the whole block drink the juice because how can he just spit in one cup and not the other? Do not ever drink the juice, ladies and gentlemen. I, get, I didn't even drink the juice in there. Every now and then I might drink the tea, okay? I don't know if the tea is the same way, but I know the juice. Man, that stuff is bad for you. Now, number one, and this is the most important. If you ever 
Or I mean ever. Do not ever touch this. A lot of people think this is a myth. It ain't no myth. This stuff happens for real, and I've seen it a couple times, okay? If you do not want to turn into little Bobby, you better heed my warning now. And those of you who don't know who little Bobby is, go check it out. I made a video on it being turned out in the state penitentiary, all right? Now, let's say you go into prison for the very first time and this stuff does happen. Please, it's not a myth, okay? They don't make videos on it for you to watch before you go into prison, okay? The state makes videos and says, and actually reenacts this scene on film before you step foot into the block in prison, all right? Uh, if you walk into your cell and you see a, a chocolate-covered nougat Snickers bar sitting on your damn pillow, I don't care if you're freaking starving, haven't seen a Snickers bar in three years, I don't give a damn. Do not take that Snickers bar, ladies and gentlemen, because that is the trick-up game. They're trying to get some sex out of you. More than likely, they're trying to take advantage of you sexually, okay? And it doesn't happen to the majority of us that's been locked up. They pick and choose who they want to put a freaking Snickers or some tobacco on their pillow or Jolly Ranchers. Trust and believe. You look weak, feminine in a little bit, they're going <laughs> to, you better believe there's going to be a little uh, housewarming gift on your pillow when you step into that cell. That's just how it is in prison. There's some nasty, sick-minded individuals that are horny as hell, and they're going to try taking advantage of you, man. So do not take it. I don't know. I honestly don't know what you should do if you see something like that. In the videos in prison and jail, they say to take it out of your cell and say, Hey, whoever put this Snickers bar on my pillow, I don't want it. I'm sitting it right here. I don't want it. But that's a little suspect because then everyone in the block's going to hear you. And they're going to be laughing their ass off knowing that they're, someone's already trying to take advantage of your weak self. So, you know, what should you do? I don't know. I would keep it in the cell, maybe. Uh, keep it in my cell. And if someone comes looking for the candy bar later on, be like, hey, bro, take this and get the freak out my cell. Don't ever come back in here. You know what I mean? You know, uh, of course, you might not be built like that because, you know, they're putting that on your pillow to begin with. But if you're not built like that, I recommend you say it a little respectfully because he might take it regardless if you ate the freaking Snickers bar or not. <laughs> you know, it's win, win, win lose situation here. It's like, you, it's hard to explain, man. Prison's a very dangerous place. But rule number one do not ever eat any kind of snack food that someone placed on your pillow in prison. Now, let me read this article to you really quick and I'll leave a link for y'all to read it yourselves. Uh, oh, and keep in mind, the veggies, you know how many times I ate vegetables? They get vegetables off their own farms, okay? In prison, they typically have their own farms or greenhouses where they grow these vegetables and they feed it to prisoners. You gotta think they're trying to make the most profit off of this, paying out the least amount of money for food to feed inmates. I think it costs like 20 cents a plate, okay? I don't know, so maybe it's cheaper, but check this article out. While conducting interviews with formerly incarcerated men for a community-based research project, I have heard many examples of how these men have had their humanity undermined during the time that they served their sentence. One of the examples given to me by a few of the interviewees is so clear and basic that the inhumanity of the practice cannot be denied. Serving inmates food marked not for human consumption. The message rings loud and clear. The Department of Corrections does not view inmates as human beings. If they did, how could such a practice ever be considered an option, let alone be carried out over and over again? No, this is an intentional, continuous practice that is happening at multiple, if not all, prisons. At some point, the idea of feeding this food to inmates was brought to the table where decision makers and Department of Corrections gave their approval. Green lighting, there's some OGs, ladies and gentlemen. Green lighting the ongoing purchase of foods, stuffs from vendors whose products state implicitly that they are not to be eaten by humans. In our nation of abundance, are we really to believe that feeding real food for these incarcerated is too much to ask? It is despicable to force this vile diet on the incarcerated population while knowing that those who approved its use would never be willing to eat it. That's a crazy article. I'll leave it. It goes on for a little bit. I'll leave it pinned in the comment section below for y'all to read. Uh, what they're doing to inmates is absolutely unbelievable. It is. It's not just the food. It's a lot of other things. And I've spoken about a lot of stuff here on this channel. 
But please heed my warning, the meats, I mean, not for human consumption. Just think of that before you crack into that chili bowl that they just served. Uh, think about that before you cut into that meat rock, whatever the case is. Remember old death and saying that is not for human consumption. And that brings me to other stories. You know, I've had rice with maggots in it. I've, I've ate stuff with uh, ladybugs on the vegetables. You know, it's crazy. Bugs right up into freaking veggies. So, I mean, it, the food is atrocious. And if you ain't got money to buy canteen, man, it's rough. It's really rough, you know. Eating a ramen noodle and some tuna every single day would be a better route than eating that state food. You know, it's sad to say. Sad to say. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I got a lot of work still to do here. And remember, if you want to see the behind the scenes of everything, go check out my other channel, 23 and Fun. I'll leave that pinned in the comment section below as well for you to go hit that like and subscribe button. A lot of fun and great content is on that channel. Can't wait to see the community grow over there as well, but just keep this in mind, there is no prison content on that channel whatsoever. It's going to be me. That's it. No prison at all. This is the prison channel. So if you like the prison content, you better stay right here. But anyways, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Go check out all the links in the description of the video. Add me up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Days Gone is coming out soon. 26th. It's about apocalypse. I'm a biker. Zombie apocalypse. Great game. It's gonna looks like it has a great storyline. Uh, so stay tuned. I'm gonna be gaming on Twitch with that. Go subscribe to me over there. And also, check it out. Alita Battle Angel. If you're a sci-fi fan and you ain't seen this movie, go check it out. I know a lot of people are going to be asking me, who's on your t-shirt? Who's on your t-shirt? That's who it is. It's Alita, Battle Angel. I was going to name my daughter Alita, but no one would let me. Brittany wouldn't let me. Oh, and happy birthday to my beautiful wife. Today she turns 30 years old. And I'd say in a couple days I'm taking her to the casino. So stay tuned for that on my other channel. I'm going to show some behind the scenes of the trip going to the casino and all that stuff. And as always, I salute to every last one who's been supporting me since the beginning, everyone who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free. And remember, man, the food that we eat out here in the streets is horrible as it is. Just imagine the food that they're serving to people doing time in jail and prison. It's bad. It's bad. Y'all be easy out there.